What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be on Raid Shadow Legends. After our first three days, I'm going to be showing you guys the progress that I've made so far. So if we go over to our champions, as you can see I have Lady Quillen. She's on level 40 right now. Aethel's at 27. War Priest, we just leveled her up not too long ago before we logged in. I'm still rocking with Crusader because I like the rally on him. So. It's kind of been like people normally feed him away, but I like the rallies because for Aethel's basic attack, it has the weaken on it. So you occasionally get an extra weaken or you just get an extra attack if you already weaken them. And Sniper, I'm just leveling her up for food. Armor Girl is going to be used for other content. And some of these other, other units are probably going to be leveling for food and stuff. So that's where we're at sitting at for when it comes to units. As you see, some of the gear on our champions really aren't that great yet. I need to level this last piece of lifesteal gear that I got from the login event for Rhonda to put on Aethel. And when we hit that certain point, I'm going to change these two pieces to help her even more. But as they try to sell me something, this is a free to play account, people. Okay. Now, um, let's go look at my challenges. I've been rocking through some of the challenges. Uh, mostly, mainly the artifact ones because there's a lot of them where, oh, you can't scroll back to the old ones. There's a lot of them where it's just like, get an artifact dropped on this level or something like that. So I need to work more on these dungeon ones because I need to get those shards. And Arena's gonna be, I think it's gonna be stuck for a minute because a lot of these like reach bronze three and arena defense win and stuff like that. Which I can check out arena right now and show y'all what's going on here. So for my defense, I really don't, I just put my regular squad in here since I wanted to try to win a um, defense, but people probably just smack through them if they got good units. You know, we look at the battle law, bam. This guy beat me easy with his Harvest Jack or what his name is? That guy, the pumpkin dude. Jack, look at his nickname. And this guy with his Deacon and his Kale just smacked me up real quick. So that's why I said that part was going to be hard. But I just got some awards from the arena reset and I can show you what those awards were real quick if you would like to see those um we got I think it was this divine life piece this uh, divine critical right piece and I think it was one of these pieces because you only get the two purple pieces from the store but I think it was this piece too so those will be got and these two pieces came from the story. So some of these pieces I'm probably still gonna start at the bottom of the mortal set stuff. I'm probably gonna be ready to use if I can get like an extra piece. Let's receive these awards because I just had this on before I was recording. Um they got the lunar event going on, so don't forget that while you're farming. You know, it's gonna be running for three more days. You can just Go in here and just pick a card. Just pick a card in the card, you know, like those things. Like, I don't pick that one. Bam, we got, we got this. Put a card the same color and sequence to win a special chest. So this was a green one, and another one was a blue. So if I would have flipped another blue green one, it would have gave me a chance to win a chest on my next flip. I really don't like that. I feel like we should just like load it up with each color and then give us a random award based off the colors that was loaded in or something something like that would have been cooler but it's all about the gamma here uh, we got some units just sitting in here that we got from the story energy we're gonna be sitting on because i i'm over capped on energy right now which you're never supposed to be in most gotcha games you're supposed to let your energy um you know revamp so we got a long way to go guys uh I, I did get in a clan i can't do much on clan boss yet i just did get a um outlaw monk so he'll be able to help once i level him up i feel like tracker has a good 
poison damage two on her. Tex has a 20% chance of placing a, no, that's debuff. Oh, this one has the poison on it. Her basic attack, attacks one enemy two times. The second hit has a chance of putting poison. So it only has a chance. So I'm kind of like opting not to use her because I might not use her. But then you have this other dog that has early game poison stuff too. I think he is attacking a place a 5% poison debuff for two turns. So I'm thinking about using him. And then if I get enough of him, you can put it on two turn cooldown and you just be hitting, hitting, hitting. So I don't know, we'll see. I feel like he should be decent. To, for, for, for me to real, while I'm still working the early game to get hits on clan boss and at least be able to do like enough to get let me see enough to get a novice chest you know one of these novice chest ones even if we don't hit the warrior chest requirement on easy so I think that's and I got into one of the free to play clans because you know these guys are playing a lot. I seem like they're playing a lot, like, cause they've already had me. But I, like I said, I did start this a little bit later than everybody else did. So, guys, tell me how your progress is going after your third day or fourth day. How long y'all been playing longer than me? Uh, give me some tips if y'all would like to. I don't really mind if you think I'm doing going in the right direction. Let me know. Um, I plan on finishing up um, normal campaign tonight. I'm already on the last four, can be on the last four dungeons. I was working on this earlier today. I got stopped at this dragon, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more grinding. Probably go back into here and here and give me some speed and some life steal to put on my characters. Let me get these real quick. And hopefully we'll be able to get some enough gems to go ahead and get when we get our six star. I'm thinking about running Ronda as my first six star. And not Aethel. I'm thinking about just dropping Aethel off at 50. But we'll see. Because I think she's good in some content. But I don't think she's going to be a good farmer. I think she's going to be slow as far as farming go. Now Rhonda has a lot of AOE, so I might use her instead. And we might just go for the shards and see if we can get somebody out of shards, but seeing as the portal don't have any kind of like extra things going right now, I kind of don't want to go for it right now. I want to wait till we got some type of buff or rate up type of stuff going on. Um, we can upgrade our slots. Let's do a pool, a 10 pool right here. Get some more um, units in here. Gonna need space anyway, so I just went on and paid that. Okay, cool. We got some more units. Oh yeah, I do have a sister Milton that I, was, I had working to help me hit earlier in the game, but she's more likely. I'm not most likely gonna use her any farther. This is probably gonna level her up, and uh, she's already leveled up. Probably just gonna leave her at level three. You know, just use her as a father. I'm probably going to level her up to 40 and leave her as a father to get her to the next level. But I'm just going to use her for now to just. And Lady Quillen actually, it's like, when I looked at her kid, I was like, she's probably decent. Like, I probably should keep her. She feels the turn meter on critical hits. So if this, her first attack is a critical. So you really want to put her some type of crit set to make her do more uh, well, with some crit stats so she can do more critical hits. If I get it to 100 critical percentage, she probably would do a lot more um, a lot more damage. And then her other one is like turn me, turn me to refill for the allies as well as I think it boosts one of these boosts critical damage. When I send this one to three, when I send her to three, she's gonna take all enemies and place a critical buff on all the allies. 
and a crack and a curl and attack. So she's gonna be good when I get her to turn three. But I think first to the fight, she usually used that before. Like when I'm playing with her now, she used it in third, second wave, and, and still using it in the big fight at the end. But you know, I guess eventually she can be good. I think speed is what she's going to probably struggle with. But anyway, guys, let me know how your progress is going. You got any tips for me? More far as clan boss go or progression? Just leave a comment. I'm going to interact with you guys. See you guys next time.